We're here outside Turf Moor, 2-0 to United. Um, the Nils have been all over the place recently, haven't they? How are you feeling after that? Up the f***ing red sun. <laughs> He's happy, are you? Yeah, yeah, delighted. Great win. United. United. Pretty, red card and the missed penalty, it could have been like three or four, but happy with the, the, the I mean, performance. The guy had a lot of chances. He did, well. didn't he? He probably should have scored that one where he, he went round Hart. I don't know if he just slipped or what, but... Yeah, it, it, it could have been more, but happy with the three points and it was quite comfortable, really, because you expect a tough game up here, don't you? But it was just what we needed, wasn't it? Especially yeah. after the last two weeks. Yeah, definitely. The atmosphere was brilliant. Probably helped it was an away game. Like, a lot of support for Mourinho and for the whole team. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant win. And, yeah. It's a shame it's the international break now, isn't it? I know. I know. A bit of a, <laughs> bit of a break now, isn't there? So, um, massive saying? three points before the international break. Huge, massive. We needed that. Massive. We sat about it, yeah. it's not acceptable. Spent loads of money. F***ing just beat Burnley today. It's not acceptable. Mourinho needs to go. F***ing need to, we need a proper clean out. F***ing all the div heads in there. It's not right, lads. It's not acceptable. We can only just beat Burnley. And you think it's acceptable. 2-0 hanging in there. It's ridiculous, lads. Get him out and let's have a fresh start. I'm guessing you don't agree with that. No, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, aren't they? But I don't think we're hanging on. I, I was never really worried. Um, so I, all you can do is beat the opponents in front of you, and that's what we've done today. So, disappointing the last couple of games. Um, but, yeah, what can you do? Who was your man of the match? Uh, I thought Flaney had a really good game, actually. I was surprised he started, but he played well. Lingard had a good game. Pogba in, in bits. Lukaku took, played well first half, but wait till second. But, yeah, I don't think anyone had a bad game, really. Uh, Burnley fans are unhappy. Oh, no, yeah, no, not happy at all, are they? I know him, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> no, just, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe David Ratside Turf. Well, you just said you don't want to start on it um, when we mentioned Rashford. Why not? I was sat about 10 rows from the front. <laughs> he squared up to Rashford and then he got sent off. Didn't even touch him. He didn't even touch him. He came up to Rashford, he put his head in and then walked off like that. Mate, referee was shocking today. And again, when Lukaku went through on goal, handball. <laughs> it's the clearest handball ever. And nothing, absolutely nothing. The result and the performance today, much better? Brilliant. Tottenham, I thought we played amazing. I thought we played fantastic. Three mistakes, three goals conceded. We battered them. But today, we battered them and won. That's a difference. But. Um, performances today, Luke Shaw, excellent. Oh, really? Fellaini came into the midfield. Sanchez he looked, he wasn't amazing, Sanchez, but he looked more like himself today. Yeah. Um, and it was a much better performance. Who was the man that stood out for you? You've got to give it Lukaku for his goals. But I think Fellaini, the amount of shit he gets, mate, he doesn't deserve that shit. He doesn't. Because he comes on, Brighton away, wins as a penalty. Tottenham at home, creates chances when he comes on, and he gets shit every game every game and he doesn't deserve it. Someone that did get a lot of that last last season was Luke Shaw and now he's played four games in a row in the league, completed 90 minutes, called up to the England squad. Did, did you see this coming? No, he deserves that. He, he deserves that call up as well. He deserves that call up because his confidence has been down here and now it's building. And if we get Luke Shaw to his prime, we've got one of the best fullbacks in the world on our hands. But at the moment he's not. He's got the potential to be there, 100%. 100%. Much better, bouncing into the, the away game now against Watford. How are you feeling going into that? It's going to be an hard game because they're unbeaten, I think. Did he lose today or win? I don't know. They won 2-1, I think. So they're level on points at the top with Chelsea and Liverpool. Mate, <laughs> if we had lost today, we'd have been nine points off top after four games. Nine but points off Watford? <laughs> we're nine points, we're six points off Watford now. It's going to be an hard game. We're Man United, we can win. Fingers crossed. David. Dave's back in United win. That's all right. It turf more two 0 no, Happy with that, Dave? Go to every game now, aren't I? Oh yeah, but yeah, buzzing. I thought, <laughs> I thought we put in a good, nice good, good performance for us. Yeah, I thought we put in a good. performance. Go I'm here with the lads who are outside turf. More Zayan, I'll come to you first. Manchester United two to, two nil today. Both goals from Lukaku. We are looking for that kind of performance from him. Yeah, I thought he was good in the first half, but not so great in the second half when he went round Hart and just missed it. But I thought we were we were good today. We were good, solid defensively, but which we weren't in the last few games. Um, why do you think we were, were better defensively today? Do you think it was because of those changes in midfield, or do you think we just performed better as a unit? I just thought that we were more tighter to our defenders because just like for example in the Spurs game, players could just move anywhere, but today. Lindelof or Small and stuck to Wood. Were you happy with that partnership when you saw it yeah. before you got here? 
No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't confident with it. And then, after now you've seen it, if you saw it against Watford, would you be happy? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And Luke Shaw, how good has he been? Someone said earlier he's been like a new signing. It sounds like a cliche, but it is true, isn't it? Yeah, I thought after he's broken his leg, he didn't play much last season, got a lot of stick from Mourinho, but he's come in and he's done really well. Right, I'm going to come back to you for your man of the match in a bit. Going to go to Seoul first. Seoul, um, United won today 2-0, first win in three league games. Um, how important was it we got the victory today? Um, based on Tottenham, Chelsea, Liverpool, cities, on their situation, it's really important. Uh, we're more closer to the top four than we would have been if we lost today. It was very important to win today, not just for the lads' confidence, but for the tallies and for the standings as well. Really important today. And for the manager as well. The manager had been under yeah. awful pressure, um, but the, the, the crowd in there was backing him. Um, the team put in a performance for him. What do you think of Mourinho's position? I think Mourinho is secure at the moment. I think the board back him. I think if we have a couple more defeats, maybe he could go. But I think at the moment he's safe. And I think there's nothing to fear for him. And uh, who was your man in the match today? Roland Lukaku. His goals, obviously, good hold-up play as well. Missed a couple of chances, but today he's my man in the match. And David De Gea's first clean sheet. Can you believe we had to wait four games? Well, he had a poor World Cup, so his form going into the season wasn't the best. Confidence, not the best either. But he's starting to slowly build that back up. And De Gea is getting back into the season. The defence looked good today. Good clean sheet. Good win. Legend soul, thank you. And your man of the match there? Uh, Marwan Fellaini was strong, held up the ball well, just did everything he needed to do. Fellaini, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, Anne.